Hello, welcome to Mr. Energy. I'm here with your weekly love reading for my lovely Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers for the time frame of September 26th through October 2nd. We are in Libra season. So happy birthday to any cross watchers that may be Libra. And we are going to get started, gang. This is going to be for love, okay? I know I missed a week or so. Two, one, I'm okay. But, um... I had a lot of work to do. I work as well, so we are really busy around this time. So I'm just trying to fit y'all in. We y'all get in, okay? All right, Aries. Um, if it does not resonate, we are all on different timelines. So this could be past, present, or future energy for you, or it may not resonate at all. Um, you might have to find a reader that resonates with you better, or get an individual reading where you can get your energy tapped in, you know, just you. Because there's a lot of people that watch these, and I'm pulling on a lot of energy, so it's going to give the message to the, the, the majority of the collective, okay? So it might not be your individual story. Like I say, take the meat, leave the bones. If you don't like what I say here, say it with me now. There are 999,000 other readers out there. Check them out, okay? So, if you like a reading, reach out to me at mrsdivenergy at gmail.com for my specialized readings. Or if you want something more streamlined, uh, faster, and shorter, you can reach out to me on Wizio. All the information will be in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. Welcome if you're returning. Welcome back. And if it resonates for you, leave me a heart of some sort, okay? Or just comment and say, hey, girl. All right, so let's get to it. Holy Spirit, what are the messages for my lovely Aries, Sun, and Rising Venus, and cross watches for the time frame of September 26th through October 2nd? Holy Spirit, what are the messages for my lovely Aries, Sun, and Rising Venus for the time frame of September 22nd through October 26th, sorry, through October 2nd? What are the messages for Aries, Holy Spirit? What are the messages? Okay, that flipped back in. What are the messages? I didn't even get to see it. What are the messages? Okay, overall energy areas. Eight of Swords. You can be in your head about something. Um, the person you're dealing with could be in their head about something. Um, you can have a lot of anxiety. You can feel like your hands are tied in a situation. Something just can keep rolling in your head. You keep thinking about it, okay? So let's see. Let's clarify. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Uh, somebody's in their head. Somebody could feel left out in the cold. They could have also put their self out in the cold. These could also be two different people. Somebody that's in their head and feels like their hand's tied. And then somebody's feeling like they're left out. But with that card, I always see that key in the corner. She can literally get up and unlock the door. So it gives them the energy of kind of like self-pity as well. Um, somebody could have done something, okay, and now regret it got them put out or whatever the case is so let's continue we have the knight of cups some of you guys can be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio energy okay nine of cups self-fulfillment and the seven of pentacles uh putting energy into something and watching it grow so we're going to clarify and keep moving but those are the only signs i see right now some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign or have earth in your chart or water the person could be water and earth Okay, we have the Knight of Cups with the Emperor energy. You are Aries. Okay, that's Aries, Taurus energy. Um, you might want to come in with someone with love letters, flowers, taking someone on a date, or somebody's coming towards you, Aries, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm hearing cat and mouse for some. This could be new, where it's like in the early dating stages. I see somebody waiting for somebody to come uh, pick them up on a date, okay? So some of you guys could be having a date this weekend, next weekend, okay? Because it can resonate now, even though it says the 26th. Let's continue. We have the Nine of Cups here with the Four of Cups. So Nine of Cups is on your own wish fulfillment. Ten of Cups is like family fulfillment. Everybody's happy. Nine of Cups is more like your own happiness. Um, somebody could have really been going after their own happiness. Maybe wanting to be independent. Maybe wanting to be single. Uh, for some, they somebody could be getting bored of that. Like, say if somebody was in a relationship or wanted to take a break. Um, they take the break and it's like, damn, I'm lonely. Okay, my money up, but I don't have nobody to spend it with. Okay, uh, I want to take a trip. I don't want to go by myself. I want to go to the movies. This is boring. My money is good. I keep hearing, like, my money is good, but it's like maybe you can't do the things you want to do with a certain someone or somebody feels this way about you. 
or it could just be your whole dating life you always like went for wish fulfillment what made you happy um always tailoring relationships to make you happy not maybe really considering the person or you're dealing with somebody like this and now it's like wow maybe i need to compromise maybe i need to maybe i do need to do better okay it's kind of getting boring getting your way or like i said whoever's dealing with you may feel this way it's kind of boring like say if they keep doing shit and they keep getting in trouble or keep breaking up or it's always push and pull between you and somebody else somebody could be looking at the inside of themselves maybe they're looking at like how they handle relationships and people and like damn i am somebody could be noticing that they're fucked up or maybe give people a hard time or maybe you haven't done people in the past you could be evaluating your dating scenarios from the past and you could be seeing some faults, okay? Or vice versa. But don't get stuck in that energy area. Whatever you did, it happened. It's over, okay? Um, just try to do better moving forward if this is you. Also, somebody around you could be going after their own wish fulfillment. And it's like, uh, I got to kind of watch them do their thing, you know? So we have the Seven of Pentacles watching something grow. We have the Queen of Wands. That's Aries. Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. So you guys could be trying to make something grow with another Aries. Um, or you are working on nurturing something. Like two people could be working on nurturing something or bettering a connection. And it's starting to be results. Somebody could also be growing funds to give to someone. Somebody could be giving somebody something material. Somebody could be giving you money or you can be giving somebody money. And they're like, oh, wow, thanks. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's continue. That flew out. Yeah, the tower. I told you, something happened here. This is in the overall. Or, like I said, it was a motion out the blue. Or a situation happened out the blue that causes, caused some type of... Um, I don't know why I'm here. Distraught? Somebody could have been distraught, upset. Their mind is holding them back. They're feeling left out in the cold because it was some type of tower moment. Or somebody is anticipating a tower moment. Okay? It's, it's giving the energy like somebody that can't help themselves. Like, you know how a kid wants to do better and it's like, oh, they always get in trouble. They keep fucking up. But it's like they want to do better. But they keep giving into temptation or whatever the case is. That could be going on as well. But yeah, somebody could be going on a day or having an outing or giving somebody a gift, flowers, whatever, money. Um, there's a lot of passion here as well. Somebody can be really sexually turned on by someone because we have the Eight of Wands, that sexual energy or fast-moving energy. Uh, somebody could be traveling in this time frame. You could be traveling with some a loved one, maybe spending time together because that's like flights, travel, highway travel, fast traveling. Could be a lot of heated messages as well or back and forth or it could be passionate messages, either arguments or like sexual content, sexting, Okay. But yeah, somebody really likes someone and wants to come forward, maybe treat them out. Somebody could just fly in and say, hey, we're going to do this and we're going to, I keep saying fly in. Somebody could be flying in, somebody could be getting flued out, okay? But somebody, you, you or somebody has an intense passion for you, uh, sexually, or just want to be around you more. Okay, yeah, the uh, like, yeah, somebody like that goes under their wish fulfillment or goes off or does their own thing from time to time. Somebody could be getting bored with that. That could be you or Aries or like, oh, they always do this. They always fly off the handle. They're always gone in the wind or gone somewhere else. And somebody could be getting uh, bored of that. It's like they're not really bothered. This doesn't give me upset. Like, oh, what are you doing? Or it gives you just like, yeah, this is just what they do. It, it, I'm just getting the energy of somebody that doesn't expect much out of someone, okay, like they used to. They just know that they're going to do these things and it is what it is. And this person is kind of bored with it, you know. Um, they take the time to rest, heal. They take breaks. They It seems like somebody utilizes this break time to, like I said, heal, get rest. Somebody could be very tired this week. And somebody else could like have a burst of energy. Or like, it's, I do see a burst of energy and then it's like a, so a relationship could have like a burst of energy and like restarted or recalibrated and now it's kind of seeming like it could be the same, if that makes any sense. It's like somebody going to sleep because this is like the board card or like whatever, indifference, and this is like sleep to it. Like, okay, whatever. I'm not even going to entertain something, okay? I can take a nap, okay? All right. 
but I don't see anyone as bothered. Also, somebody can have intense passion in a relationship and someone might not feel the same. Yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with, we got uh, uh, another Sagittarius, Aries, Leo person, or it could be you. And we have a Libra or a Taurus person, okay, that you could be dealing with or trying to grow something with. Um, yeah, because somebody's trying to nurture some type of connection. And then we have a Queen of Wands, which is a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And you uh, you could be dealing with a uh, Libra or a Taurus female. These are females, but it could be males as well. But they're coming out as females. That you could be dealing with. You could have an, a couple of options. It could be somebody trying to grow something with a Libra, Taurus. Or somebody trying to grow something with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or both. Because both of these people are on top of the growth. Somebody could be trying to grow with two people. Um, somebody could also be pregnant. Uh, a person could be your uh, mother or father of your child. Somebody could also be pregnant. Somebody also could have a mysterious uh, or a very intuitive way about them that you deal with. Because this is like Empress energy. Yeah, you could be dealing with somebody that has like a lot of energy. They could be an entrepreneur and also like a nurturing mother type. But I see somebody with a lot of energy. And a lot of growth. I keep seeing these naps. Somebody could like literally sleep like this. Because on both of these pictures, they're sleeping like that. You could be dealing with somebody that sleeps like that or you sleep like that. I just noticed it because I never noticed it before. But today I noticed it like I see somebody sleeping like this. Yes, yeah, a lot of hands to the faces. It's just like bored or sleep or somebody could be bored or tired of a connection. Just nonchalant. Like whatever, do what you want. <laughs> That's like what I'm getting. And it's like somebody else is like excited. Let's do this. And it's just like, okay. Yeah, somebody could be getting bored of a connection. And somebody could be trying to figure it out. Or they could see a relationship going a certain way. And they're trying to avoid it or stop it from going this way. Okay? Alright, guys. So I'm going to pull some of these. We'll get more in depth. Let's pull on this tower card to see what this man can be. Okay? Ah, so the tower comes with some type of message of concern. Okay, this is what came out with the tower. So whatever situation this was, it could be ignited with a message, a phone call, gossip, somebody telling somebody something. Okay. It's like mini heart attack. Oh, so hopefully nobody has a mini heart attack. Please don't. But it's some type of shocking information. Somebody could also get some type of results. Could be pregnancy, could be STD. I'm seeing like balls here, sorry, sexual connotation. I don't know why, maybe somebody uh, could have like a prostate cancer or something like that. I don't know why I saw like the balls with that and then the message of concern. I don't know why. Some of you guys could be needing to get your prostate checked. Okay. For my guys or ladies, if your male counterpart, um, you know, I'm 30, I'll be 36 next month, October 19th. And, you know, we're getting older to where we need to get mammograms and get these things where you get older. Usually when you hit 35, 40, you start having to get those exams and running those tests to make sure your health is up to par. Okay, let's see what this energy is flying in uh, with, like, this date energy. Like, somebody could be trying to treat you, but it could be too late, like, treat, treat you out or do you better. Or you can try to do somebody better or treat them out. But it's kind of too late. They they could be kind of in the energy of, uh, I don't really care. Do what you want. You can take me out. You don't have to take me out. You come here. You don't have to come here. Really nonchalant. So on this Eight of Wands, this energy that flies in, it came out with the thief. Okay? So be careful of anybody new or anybody returning. We are in the middle of a Mercury retrograde when it brings feelings and people from the past. Sometimes we can be confused and think that this is love or think that, it's real or whatever, but when you're in a retrograde, nothing really makes sense. Nothing is, it reminds me, I always tell people to reference the mirror on your car. You know the little saying, it says objects and mirror are closer or further than they appear, whichever one. It's like that type of, that's how a retrograde is. It kind of distorts your vision or your thoughts or situations. And then when we come out of it, it's like the fog is lifted. Like, oh, why could I think of that before? Why didn't I see it that way before? It just things start making sense when Mercury start, gets out of the retrograde. Um, so somebody might be wanting to move towards you too fast. Okay, or you can be wanting to move too fast, Aries. Um, and people that move too fast, I'm hearing fast talker. We see thief. 
um, getting like con artists. Um, it's like that energy, like, yeah, I can take you out. Yeah, I got, I can show you the world. I, I'm seeing Jasmine and Aladdin. I can show you the world. Like somebody's really trying to impress someone, but they could be a thief. Aladdin was a thief, wasn't he? Oh my God, I don't know why that came in my mouth. I mean, out of my mouth as Aladdin, this thief first. I'm like, they come in like a thief, and Aladdin was a thief. Be, um, you know, be, watch out for someone that, uh, could be maybe portraying themselves as more than what they are. These are kind of like for the singles, I'm thinking. Not anybody that you were dealing with. Um, or somebody getting back into the dating game. Somebody could portray themselves as something that they're not. Pump themselves up more than they are. Somebody also could be like a scammer. Or whatever they do could be underhanded, dark. I'm seeing this watch on this thief that this person is looking at. Um, it might not even be a thief. It could be a time stealer. People don't understand. People tell you steal your money. They steal your 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 um your stuff, your TV or whatever. But the worst thief is a motherfucker that steal your time, and that's AKA a motherfucker that wastes your time. Knowing they don't want to get married, knowing they don't want to be in a relationship, knowing they don't want to settle down or whatever it is that you want. Somebody could be wasting your time because they're portraying themselves to be what you want, but they know they have no intention of doing it. Okay, so this I see somebody somebody moving in fast, wanting to move fast. Let's do this. Let's do this. We can move it. We can do this. But they're a time stealer. And they move too fast. And they talk too fast. Con artist energy. Yeah, be careful, okay? For the people that's dating new. Let's check on um, this energy of, uh, like, boredom and tired. Okay, okay. So, um, it doesn't have to be the energy of somebody being nonchalant towards the connection. That can be it, because that was a message. But going deeper into it, it's like somebody has a lot of energy, and then they get drained. It's due to work, okay? Somebody is working a lot. They start off with a lot of energy, but by the end of the day, they fucking tired. The middle of the day, they're like, ooh, I'm winding down. And then by the end of the day, they're in the bed like this. Okay, somebody uh, could think that somebody works too much. They don't get to spend as much time or vice versa. Or maybe both of you guys work a lot. But it's like this person, is, they got so much on their plate. Whew. I, yeah, I just got tired. Like, I had to breathe out. Yeah, the, the, working in the night hours. Like, you see her doing the night hours. Somebody could work overnight or work really late. Somebody could be a seamstress. Somebody could feel like they need to hurry up and get a dress or an outfit made for something. Or say if you're a seamstress, you gotta, you gotta, somebody's like racing to get a dress done or a suit done or an outfit done or, or something like that. And they're really tired. That message is not going to be for everyone. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, don't drop the cards. Oh, okay. Okay, let's expound on this growing, somebody wanting to grow something. Let's give me the energy of something restarted. Then it's growing. Yeah, we have with these energies here, we have a mature woman. Some of you guys could be dealing with a mature woman. Somebody could be having marriage on their mind. Some of you guys could be seeing 333. Yeah, somebody could see a, a female or a male, but it's coming out as females. As someone, you have somebody very mature in your life. For the women that could be a mom or, or your family that's concerned with your uh, marriage status, they like, okay, you're getting older. Uh, somebody could be having kids or they could be pregnant and the family could be concerned about having children before marriage or they're like sticklers for that. Or it's like somebody's pregnant and now uh, somebody could want to get married. Like, yeah, why don't we get married now? Somebody's like, oh, you know. Some kind of concern around marriage and somebody being mature. Somebody could feel like they're getting too old and they need to get married, okay? You could feel like you're getting old and somebody may feel like they need to settle down, all right? Okay, so let's pull some more here. On the tower and message of concern, yeah, it's, it's something to do with romance. Something... It could be a trip as well. Somebody could be worried about a trip. Somebody could have went through something traumatic and it's like it's very hard for them to open themselves up to romance. Yeah, see? What did I say? Somebody could be... It's hard for them to open up to romance and then the healing card came out. Yeah. Somebody... Uh, it could be... Have trust issues. They could think a tower moment's coming. They could already put themselves in the cold like, oh, this always happens. Yeah, somebody needs to take a time out. Be gentle with yourself. It's healing. Like, uh, messages could trigger you or somebody could say one thing and say, like, oh, they're going to leave me. It could be abandonment issues, okay, for some. Let's pull on this thief. 
the stealer of time that keeps saying that Aries, Aries or cross watcher please be uh, cognizant of people wasting your time if it's not what you want get out of it it's a waste of time it's not going to change into what you want okay so we have a uh, surrender and community yeah somebody wants you to surrender it could be people even in the community or your family like oh this person seems great won't you give in to them but somebody could be saying like they're moving too fast it's making me nervous and you should be because that's what the thief okay let's pull on this uh somebody that's working a lot yeah, somebody told you creativity. Somebody has to do something that uh, they're writing music in the middle of the night, writing a book, or just working in the middle of the night, painting something creative. Yeah, loosen your whole, relax, unwind. You need more sleep. You need more rest. I'm hearing writer's block or something like that. Like you can have a block or whatever you do, and it's like it's not coming to you. You're tired. Get some rest, okay? Yeah, see, somebody, uh, somebody could have been pregnant and somebody separated due to that somebody is big on having kids out of wedlock it could be the parents I'm hearing the parents of the woman the parents of the daughter I don't know why I'm hearing that okay the parents of the woman are the ones that are concerned about somebody being pregnant and not married they could want someone to somebody also could have had a dream about this being pregnant okay I'm hearing they are I don't okay you had a dream about that whoever that is could be you or someone else that you had a dream about that's pregnant they are um yeah also it could be like say somebody got pregnant and you got separated but now uh somebody can feel the pressure and want to offer a marriage or a commitment it doesn't always have to be marriage the marriage card could just be an acceleration and commitment say if you were dating now you might propose say if you propose now you can get you know that type of shit it could just be a level up from where you are. If you were talking, then you'll decide to date, okay? All right, guys. We're going to pull some more. Uh-oh. Uh, we got this fell on the floor. People are messy. Love them anyway. Yeah, that could be that tower moment. Like I said, I heard gossip or uh, somebody that tries to mm, interfere in the connection. Watch out for that. We have, okay, do you really need a car for this? Have sex. You guys could be wanting to have more sex or somebody could want you to have sex with you. Ooh, time for some shit to get real. Get honest as fuck. Somebody could be um, displaying their real emotions, okay? And we have pack your bags. Get the hell out of town. It will make you both lovable again. I told you. Remember when I said I saw a trip or somebody taking some type of trip this week? Yes, pack your bags. Get the hell out of town and we'll make you both again. So you and a significant other could be traveling somewhere or going out of town, okay? You could be packing bags or taking a trip for a couple days. Yeah. You guys could maybe have serious talks on this trip or it might be some sex or whatever the case is. Um, but that's what I'm feeling here. I'm going to pull on this uh, time for shit to get real. Time to be honest. Time to get honest. Like I said, you guys can have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. For some, uh, it could be over something uh, with court. Somebody could be holding back information. Say if it's a new person, they have some court dealings they might have not told you about. I'm seeing open cases. Okay. Yeah, somebody like could have been a criminal of some sort or still is. I don't know why I'm getting criminal vibes. Yeah, pack your bags, great fortune. Somebody could have, like, extra money or on this trip, uh, somebody, you know, pays for things or um, treats you good, okay? Somebody could just have real good money right now, all right? Okay. Let's look at the emotions. We'll look at the emotions for this week, the love. All the way till next Sunday. Because start now till next Sunday. Not this Sunday, coming up next Sunday. The emotions this week. Okay, a sense of peace. You or someone else has a sense of peace or there is a sense of peace in the connection right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, service. Somebody might want to be of service to you or you want to be of service to someone. Yeah. Like somebody's trying to do a good job. Um... Because they can feel like somebody's judging them. Or they want to do better because they know somebody's watching them. Like, say if it was some type of relationship, you guys got back together, somebody could be trying to prove 
themselves to someone. Okay? So we have peace now um, after failure and regret. So like I said, something could have failed. It could have broken up, separated. Somebody was in regret. Now somebody could want to be of service. Yeah, somebody is accepting. Uh, the more you accept something, the more you'll be at peace. Yeah, somebody uh, has a fear of failure. They're worried of failing. I'm hearing you don't have to worry about failing if you uh, change some things, tweak some things, compromise, okay? You don't have to worry about failing. Um, if you continue to go in the same direction, you will fail, okay? And we have the regret. Don't think about the past and things that you've done and regret. Just surrender, okay, and release that. Just work on doing better. And if... Um, it's you that somebody's trying to do better too, then don't be too judgmental, okay? Somebody wants to put in the work. I'm also hearing as well, all right? So let's get ready to close this up. What's great? What are the additional messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers? And if it, someone doesn't know what cross watchers are, cross watchers are. When you watch for another sign, like say I'm Libra, and say I was dealing with somebody that was Cancer, I would watch their their video, Cancer video, to get the other side of the story. So you're in Aries, say you're dealing with the Leo, you would watch Leo, that would make you a cross watcher because you're cross watching, even though it's not your sign, you're watching your other person's sign. That's why it's called cross watching. Yeah, some of you guys could be wondering why to something, or wanting the answers, or have some questions now. It could be what you're in your head about. Yep, yeah, uh, but you're not gonna be able to figure it out because it's fate. Okay, whatever happens, we guys be dealing with an Aquarius, but um, I don't know who that was, but the, it's fate. Okay, you you don't understand why this is going the way it is, or it, even if it's good or bad, it's fate. It's destined. It was destined to happen. Okay, you were trying to figure it out and imagine where you want something to go, or imagine how you want something to be, um, and you want it to be logical and to make sense, but it's, it it can't because it's fate. It's destiny. We never know what's in the cards, literally. Okay? Um, a lot of you guys are wanting to go the distance with something. Okay? You might want to continue a relationship with somebody. You might want to stick it out for the long haul. Get back with someone. Yeah, go the distance. Here we are. Clarifying, go the distance. Um, some of you guys be dealing with Libra. Again, we got the Libra card, the scales, to be fair. You might want to go the distance and like act right now or be fair. It could be with the Libra they're coming up here they've come up twice in your reading uh, Aries Sagittarius Leo came up in your reading as well that's about it um but yeah wanting to work something out wanting to be fair uh, maybe want to balance a connection out uh, put more effort in fix something calibrate something clarify why yeah, somebody could be wondering why somebody ghosted them, left them, sent them off, whatever the case is. You want to know why. It, it's no reason. Like, say if somebody abandoned you or broke up with you before, it's like, oh, why would you do that? Even if they do want to come back, it's like you're asking questions. Yeah, the fates. It, it's fate. It's destiny. So just slow down. You need to breathe. Some of you guys may need to meditate. Okay? It helps bring answers as well. We also have imagine. So I'm, I'm going to need you guys to imagine happy results, okay? Or you could just be, you, you might imagine or daydream about being happy with somebody forever. So you guys could be going to a party or some type of event or gathering. I see the balloons here. Okay. All right, guys, let's pull a romance card. We got one more minute. See, wedding again. This is the second time wedding. Somebody could be contemplating proposing or uh, upping up the relationship. Yeah, you deserve love. Mm -hmm. Somebody could feel like you deserve to be loved right. Or you feel like somebody, yeah, and we have released your ex. So some of you guys could be holding on to old energy, okay? Um, don't hold on to that old ass energy. Somebody could still be stuck in their head about their ex. But somebody uh, that you're dealing with now could be showing you like, yeah, if you were with your ex still, or say if it's somebody that comes back to you, if you were with that person still, it couldn't be that damn good. Somebody's still stressed out about an old ex, but it's like a new person or somebody you dealing with now uh, are like, yeah, you deserve love. We have to do this right. You know, that person obviously didn't love you right. 
get unrequited love. Not, unrequited love doesn't mean that they don't love you. They just don't put as much in as you do. So that could be you or someone else. Or that could have been going on in the past. Yeah, this could be due to uh, friends. People could have cared about what their family friends said. Or say if all your friends were single. Uh, this person was single because it was like, cool, who's in a relationship? Who's settling down? That's not cool. Like, that's goofy as fuck. Because you go sleep with them friends at night. Okay, yeah, somebody, um, either you want to free yourself from somebody that doesn't put enough into the relationship or tends to other people or things. Uh, yeah, you could uh, free yourself from that connection or somebody wants to be free from you because they don't feel like you love them as much as they love you. Yeah, but somebody is still attracted to someone though, okay? Alrighty, guys. Um, I want to pull one more. Oh, um, I have to pull a message for the separated Aries. Any cross watchers? Separation messages. Two. And one, two. Oh, shit. And that was nine. Hmm. So we have, I keep up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that into my soul. So Aries, somebody could know you better than you think they know you. And they said they keep up a facade, and facade is just a role. They keep up a role. But to the world, you always saw past this into my soul. Somebody knows you deeper than anybody else, okay? Or you know somebody deeper than anybody else. But somebody tries to hide. They're like, oh, this person doesn't know me. They don't know my ways. They don't. They do. They do. The next card is, I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw through me. You know the truth about me. Again, and this is a big deck. For both of these two cards to be next to each other, and it says, you always saw past my bullshit into my soul. And I can't let go of my pride, but you see through me. This person could be a seer. They could be intuitive, because it's the energy of somebody that sees through this. You could be around somebody that could see through to the soul. They could have piercing eyes. Or when they look at you, you just feel like it's not just like a look, like you look at somebody on the street. It's like they could be looking at you and it just seems like they can see all the way down to your heart, okay? Um, yeah, this person could be intuitive or have a gift because somebody sees through you no matter what you throw up there or you see through somebody no matter what they throw up there, okay? Also, it hurts to see online that you moved on with your life. So some of you guys that are in uh, separation or maybe just like a brief separation or not together as much, um, you might have this person on social media. You could be looking at their um, social medias and you might not like what they say, okay? Also, I'm hunted by us. I didn't follow my heart and now I don't know how to let you go. So yeah, I told you it was something where somebody got fed up with some shit. Left a motherfucker. It could have been multiple people, third party situations with four, five, six people. It could have been that somebody didn't want to commit. You could be dealing with a commitment phobe. Um, somebody that just didn't take the connection serious, you know, as you did. But now this person or you are hunted by this because you could feel like you didn't follow your heart or somebody could feel like they didn't follow their heart. And now somebody doesn't know how to let go. Like somebody else could have let go or not really concerned with it, but the other person. They can't really let go because they feel like they're missing out on something. They just feel like they didn't take a full opportunity the way that they could. Like, say you met somebody when they were 20. Y'all had a relationship. It was cool. Y'all broke up. But you were like, man, you go through a bunch of more relationships. Like, dang, that's actually the best person. Like, they knew me the best. They, they catered to me the best. And now you're 35. And you was running through giving bitches all type of dick or, or hopping on whatever. You know what? And now that you're older and you're starting to care about relationships, because nobody really cares about that when they're younger. When you get older, you start thinking about life. Now that some of you guys are getting older or your person is, somebody is like, damn, now that I'm serious, I see that this person could have been good for me, you know? But sometimes we throw those things away. We weren't ready. Yeah, it gives me the energy of something that could have been real, but you may not have been ready or your person wasn't ready. I do feel like this could be salvaged, but somebody is kind of like nonchalant or they're focused on work now and they really... You'll either have to, like, get this person back excited and in love for you or whatever. But I see that you guys are still, like, connected. It's just like somebody is just not putting their all into it, okay? All right, Aries, that is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. And until next time, bye-bye.